Hey there everybody, good morning. It is Monday, time to start another week and we're gonna kick things off this week with a brand new installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. Stay tuned. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Hey there, everybody. Good morning and welcome. First to get the elephant in the room out of the way, um, I'm in a different room. Mickey and I are on a quick, uh, well, almost two days. Maybe it's one whole day. I don't know. Quick trip up to Nashville for, uh, actually for her work that she's doing. And I tagged along to join the trip. Uh, thank you for joining us as we get a new week kicked off uh, this week. When you get here, whether you're watching live or on the replay, especially those of you watching on the replay, be sure and leave a comment. Say hi, hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever is appropriate where and when you're watching. Love to hear from you. Uh, hey, and so you can join the likes of Joe and Catherine who have done just that and said good morning. So I, re I realized as I was putting this together this morning that this is maybe going to feel like a little bit of a recap of last week, but I, I, I just, it's an important topic. So I wanted to hit it and, uh, and be sure that we got all the bases covered here. This idea, I had a conversation about this at dinner last night also, this idea about work-life balance uh, is really what I wanted to talk about this morning. This idea that I can take work and put it in one box and life and put it in another box and somehow magically I'm going to sit those on the teeter-totter and they're going to balance out. Whoever came up with that idea is insane. It doesn't, I mean, it doesn't work that way. Our brain doesn't even work that way. Think about it like this. Have you ever been at work and wondered if you left the garage door open? Or been at work or, or been at home and thought about, oh, I wonder if that PO ever got signed. Or been on vacation and thought about either of the other two, right? That's, the, our, our mind, our brain is a, this associative filing system. You gotta go from here to here to here to there to get over here. And if you're not, if you're trying to fight against that, it's just not gonna work. There's not, we can't perfectly box off these different aspects and segments. So, so if you can't find work-life balance, what, kind, what is it and what can you find? Well, work is just part of life, just like everything else. And so the, the ideal is to pursue work that finds you joy and fulfillment. Hey Jeff, good morning. By the way, not going to be at lunch today. <laughs> Joe should know that though. Um, if you are doing work that matters, and this is where this is kind of a recap of last week. Remember, our work that matters, you know, energizes us, challenges us, brings value to other people. Um, if, and, and it is the work that we are uniquely gifted, talented, and placed to do. So if we are doing the work that we're designed to do, that, that work that matters, then it's going to be fulfilling and it's going to be a valuable part of our life. What happens way too often is we make compromises. We don't do what we are gifted and talented to do. We do what we can get by with. And what we can get by with leaves us unfulfilled. That's why we have hobbies and pursuits that we do in our off hours. But if you're, if you can, if you find those things that bring you fulfillment and you pursue those as um, a means of making a living, I won't call it a job, I'll call it a means of making a living, then so much, it just everything gets so much easier, all right? So if you are struggling, looking for work-life balance, if that's something that 
that you've been pursuing something that you want to find out, the first thing I would suggest to you is to check the work that you're doing. Is it really the work that you're supposed to be doing? Probably not. And that's why you're having that challenge in the first place. So, Catherine, your phone, you can live stream with your phone also. Don't let that hold you up. There you go. It's always a reason. I like that. That's really good. There's always a reason and there is always a way. I like that. That's good. All right. Hey, listen, if uh, you got any value out of our time together today, I would appreciate it tremendously if you'd give it the old hearts, thumbs up, like, star, whatever is appropriate in the venue where you are watching or listening. And if, uh, if you know one person, I'm only asking for one, but if you know one person that could benefit from our time together, share this video with them. You don't have to broadcast it out to your whole network, just that one person, because it is that one person that needs to hear it. And if you don't share it with them, guess what? They won't hear it. All right, that's it for today. Should be back on the back porch again tomorrow when we get together because uh, certainly plan on being on the radio tomorrow. So you listen, you guys have a great Monday, okay? Stay safe, stay dry. And um, it's rainy here. I assume it's rainy there, but maybe it's a bright sunny day wherever you are. I'll talk to you again tomorrow when we have another time together for seven minutes in the morning. Take care.